G'day, welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I've got this little unit here, the Zero C1 Pro Garmin Chronograph. So it's a little Doppler radar chronograph. It's, um, listen, I suppose, what can I tell you? The guys at Garmin um, called us up to say, listen, would you be interested in having a look at one of these? Um, we'd like to get a, a, a Aussie voice for uh, Garmin Australia. Um, talking about what our product is, and I gladly um, was willing to accept the, the challenge and, and, and do a little video, have a little play and do a little video on this unit. Um, you've no doubt seen lots of them. I've seen lots of them of people doing reviews all over the world. They look like a great little unit. Um, and listen, what I can tell you is, even from looking at the reviews, the concept of a nice little screen where you can read things on the front of it, so it's got a little screen on one side of it, um, you can it's normally mounted on this cute little tripod, so which comes with the unit. That's the, the two main bits that come. There's instructions and things in the box as well, but you get these two things and a charging cable. Um, normally sitting like that for your prone shooting, what a lot of people do, works brilliantly. It has the instructions, very simple unit to use. I didn't have to fuss with it at all. Um, I paired it to the phone. You, get, you can read your information on your phone. You don't need to. I didn't do it to start off with. Um, it downloads all the information on there, so if you haven't done it straight away, it'll put the other shots on there, shoots on there anyway. Um, but you have things like putting in a new session and then putting in the bait, the, the rifle or pistol, whatever it is, putting in the approximate speed. It's got two speed groups. Um, and the basic bits and pieces, very simple to use, but even without doing that, you can just sit it there and it, when, you, when you shoot, it says in here, it's gotta be within five inches or 15 inches of the barrel side to, of the side of it and the same five inches or 15 inches from the muzzle. So basically very simply alongside your rifle, pointing at your target, you go bang and it gets a speed. And what I can say there, um, it didn't miss a speed, which is probably the step up from everything else I've ever seen. Normally there's a bit of wriggling, a bit of quirk, a little bits and pieces to make the systems work. This didn't have that. So it's also got that display, easy to read on the side there where you can see what's going on. So very simple to use just in that fashion. Once it's done that, you can end the session, you can go through all the details of all the things that the guys the, the guys who want to geek out on a bit, well, all the information's in here. As you can imagine with Garmin, they're very thorough at doing that sort of stuff. They've really put the research into developing this little fella. Um, simple to use instructions on how to drive it on top here and how to actually drive it, um, and gives you lots of information. If you're like me, a bit more in, you just want to see your speeds, they want to be about the same, you're just making sense of your load, or that sort of stuff, then it did that without any fuss whatsoever, but also very easy to record it in this fashion where you've got it recorded, that side of things. So that was really good. I haven't gone through, I'm, I'm certain you can download this information to be able to pull it as I normally would if you want to record, record a paper note, but if you're just setting things up, then that's worked really well in that score anyway. The test I did beyond that, I wanted to see how flexible it was in the way of you know how much it w if there was going to be fuss involved and there wasn't. I simply pointed that flat face to target in whatever form I was doing, and then I shot at it. I shot at the target, I should say. Um, I the rounds I tested, which I thought was something I could you know see. I've, I've certainly seen issues with the small ones can have issues, even the likes of 22, but generally not too much of a fuss. 22 Magnum, I have seen some issues. In the 223s and 22250s and things like that, I've seen some have issues with that sort of stuff. I went a step further, I went with a 17 Hornet. So that's a 20 grain or 17 grain round traveling at 3,600 feet per second. So if something's gonna be hard to find for a Doppler radar, then oh, that should be in there. I went with a straight old boring big one. So the 4570 in the Hornady, that's the factory around the Hornady. And then something a bit peculiar, I went with a 410. That's what I just took out today and did test with and shot um, four of those and 10 of those and 
10 of those and 10 of those and five of those. I went through and shot all them and just made sense of things. I did, didn't miss a beat. It, it truly didn't. I, mount, I made a little unit to be able to mount it to the side. That screws on there and that clips onto the rail on a couple of rifles. I did it that way on a couple of rifles. I didn't use this little fella because I wasn't shooting from a bench. I did it the way I normally do it. I do it in offhand, standing up and set it up on a tripod where I've, it's got just a little camera screw on the bottom here. So I screwed on a little plate and put it on top of my one of my tripods and shot next to it. I shot over it with the 410. I shot next to it with the other ones. Um, like I said, dis, didn't, miss, di, didn't miss a beat on that score. So it worked really, really well. The one other thing I did a, ter a, a comparison to just see. I know the speeds are going to be about right, but just do a comparison. So the only one I did it with was on the little Hornady. Um, so running a lot of speed, the 3600 feet per second, um, and ran that, tested that with the um, with the Bullet Seeker. So not that long ago unit. I think it's got a different name now, the Bullet Seeker. Something that I've found reliable. It worked fine, worked well for me. But super consistent. So when it was down by 50, it was just factory ammo. So there was, I'd have to look at the data, but around uh, 60 feet per second maximum spread, um, extreme spread. And uh, this moved with it. They moved together, exactly together, up and down by the same amount. Kept that same sort of speed difference. So consistent, accurate, um, easy to use, small, really like having the reading on the actual screen where I can actually see it so I don't have to do any more than just look at it. And then it's all recorded, you got it afterwards. So you really do know what's going on. Um, really nice size unit, light little fella, going to clip on or shoot next to that sort of stuff, all work really easy. So listen, great, you know, technology is moving forward and a company like Garmin that have been doing technology not so much guns, but technology for so long, um, you're going to have something that is really dependable in these little fellas. So great unit. Yes, if I was looking at buying a GPS now, or if you're looking at buying a, sorry, a, a um, chronograph of some time or another now, I think it's a really, really good option. Anyway, guys, that's my video on that one. I hope the Garmin guys like the video of what I've done there. Um, thank you very much for getting it over to us. Um, we will have some more play with it in the very near future, but um, great little unit. Thumbs up. Thanks for checking in, guys. We'll catch you next time.